Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the Legacy DLC and we are in the last mission of the last uh, Legacy uh, scenario, the Lazarus Project. My name is Saiken and we are going to run through this mission as fast as possible. This is a blind playthrough on uh, Nightmare uh, Iron Man difficulty. So I don't know what is going to uh, await us, but I'm expecting hardcore packs. Packs like these. So an EMP bomb, by the way, would have been really, really good here. Even thinking whether or not we should use the capacitator discharge. Because it deals so much more damage to robotic units. Maybe we're just starting with the capacitator discharge this time. Wouldn't be the worst idea, to be honest. We could stun all of uh, the r robots and we're dealing about 10 damage. I guess that's fine. Saves us um, some resources. The juice is loose. We've been spotted. Not sure if we have even stunned one of them. The answer is probably not. Let me think about that. I think we are immune against Overwatch fire. Soldier doesn't trigger Overwatch, okay. And we do have Reaper, right? Right. And we're dealing a lot of damage, right? Right. Okay. It's on. It is motherfucking on. Nine points of damage. Let's hope we can kill him. Very nice. Eight points of damage. And you know, since we're here, shotgun to the face. Because we have this nice little Arashi new sh uh, shotgun. Might have forgot to t uh, tell you about it, but it's really, really good. There we go. This guy teleports in. Lucky we haven't been spotted out. Indeed, pretty lucky. No, that would be wasteful. By the way, we do have Salvo. I must remember that because it means uh, that we can launch a grenade before uh, before the turn starts or we can launch a grenade like 
right at the beginning and then take a second to go afterwards. Shredded it down to 10 hit points. Blood trailing the avatar down, and yeah, that's that should be a pretty secure kill. On the move. There we go. Well, easy enough. That was a fun first room. I think we're going to be okay. Retelling the story now, it doesn't make much sense that we would have followed a half-baked lead into an unknown alien facility. But that's XCOM for you. Always chasing something. Besides, I don't know what it was. Moving there. A strange feeling going into this one. No need to ask twice. Rolling out. Sniper moves over here. Bradford moves over here. And next turn we can open the door. I'm watching. Oh yeah, almost forgot about Lily. Let's go. Come get some. Yeah, before we open the door, let's get our Grenadier into position. It will cost us an extra turn, but it's worth it. Next room is probably even empty. That's a bummer. We're above the 260,000 score already, by the way. And I might, should have taken that with our with our Templar. Anyways, told you it was worth to wait. So since we can't see anyone, like, directly, we might help the, uh, the whole fight by just blowing shit up. Mainly getting rid of cover. rid of even more cover. This is for you. Time to kiss the chosen goodbye. Nice 
massive critical chance. Oh, he dodged that one. Lucky you. Moving further in. And what I would want to do really is get a solid position over here and get a face off going. Wow, three misses, but is very uncommon. So We could reveal ourselves. And potentially even shoot uh, the Advent, um, the Advent Captain. Red Ford takes a maneuver. How much is the Arashi going to hit? Uh -huh. Run and gun. Fast as I can. Going to move over. Uh, Bradford still has uh, Blade Storm, so if that commander moves, even if he does not kill him, the commander will uh, will die. But luckily, we do have 115% crit chance, which is quite a bit. Let's kill this trooper. Moving in. Got him already pretty low. High ground bonus should be enough to kill him. I trust in you, Lily. Yeah. Which leaves us only with the avatar. Who had chosen to be a, um, a coward and just teleport away, but that's okay. Realistically speaking, he's on, uh, only going to mind control anyways. Yeah, there you go. That's the mind control. Totally surprising, right? My patience for this scavenger hunt was getting thin. To the point where I almost had them haul Tygen out of bed to give us some clue as to what we were doing down here. He was certainly giving the elders a run for the most indecipherable statements award. Heading out. 
Fanfire. Hopefully killing him. Let's collect our focus and scout ahead. So far, none of the packs really had been at any trouble. I think that was a double pack. I'm not 100% sure though. Might use scanning protocol. Wait a second. 18 hit points. That's probably an elite trooper. Could be a stun lancer, an elite stun lancer as well. Could be really anything. I don't think that it is going to come alone. I would think that that's just the tip of uh, the iceberg. You ready for me? Moving to Overwatch. So we're 13,000 ahead of the gold medal. I would like to finish with over 300k. Like this were an important reminder of just how far Advent had come over the years. Building something like this was a huge undertaking, and there was no telling how many more of these places were out there. It was daunting to consider, but we tried to focus on the task at hand. I think we have seen the guy over here. Realistically speaking, that's the, also the only direction where we could go. So I might as well move over there. Yeah, it'll take a round or two Honor. until everyone's there. Stepping off. Let's do this. That seems reasonable. Okay, the most the important uh, people this to stand at the door are the sniper the and honest, the grenadier. It was probably for the best. Due to the action My economy, both need both of their reason, turns. And it was getting harder and harder to keep up with our new recruits. Plus, I knew it was time to try being a real leader. I am at your service. Moving over here. Reload Overwatch. 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 Reload Overwatch. Yeah, we know that there are some aliens behind the door. Alright, standing at the door. Last round before we open it. Opening the door. Forces on the ground. Hello there. Let me clarify real quick. Opening the door. <laughs> Hello. Well. I think we know it's time for a big fat blaster bomb. No, we don't want to lose our cover. Certainly want to shred everyone. So that's a good starting point.
Good job. Well done, buddy. Avatar is moving back. I guess she is going to take care about the avatar. Nice little rapid fire, 100% uh, chance to hit. He can't dodge 100% shots. So. That's an avatar gone. The nice little implacable right there. I got nothing. Unfortunately did not manage to hit the gatekeeper. Let's try a different angle. 100% chance to hit the sector. Since we do have Reaper active, that means we get another shot. Lily here. Needs, needs to damage um, the gatekeeper, but the pr uh, protocol is dealing way too less damage, so that's a beautiful hit. Good job. Moving to position. Um, wait a second. I think Lily just... Oh, fuck. Lily just... <laughs> Killed the Codex instead. Uh, I planned it completely different. Job, Redford. Time to amplify. And of course, time to move away because that thing is going to explode very, very soon. I think we're going to save Fanfire. And we're just killing it with a grenade. Not the most beautiful kill, but we got a cooldown save. This here is dangerous. We don't want to stand here just to spot obey. someone out. I've located the objective, Commander. When we spotted that final chamber, I knew that had to be the place. They had really gone out of their way to build this reveal.
Okay. So, as I was saying, moving in. Moving out. I said moving in, not moving out. Got it. Affirmative. Come get some. My turn on watch. I'll lead the way. And last but certainly not least, Lily. There we go, guys. Last room. So close to the 300,000 score. I will reposition. Just a couple of positional optimizations here. We want the right people to stand at the right place. Moving out. I'll maintain my watch. Ready to fight. Always wondered what this was like. Rock and roll. Scanning. Ready to rock. Moving over, watch. Everyone's on ready to roll. All right, come on. I will always find you. Open in the door. All right, so as I was saying, we need to get rid of the cover. Shred them and hit them. That's why he's staying, uh, staying right there to do all of that. Nice little volatile mix. Beautiful. That's one less enemy to take care of. Well, thinking about where we would want to position ourselves. Moving in. Damn it. Went off the armor. Wow. A lot of armor. Like uh, the chosen one standing like in this corner back there. That's irritating. It's by the way not a chosen one. I must correct myself. I meant the avatar, of course. Still not liking it at all. Oh really? Oh really? Well, well, we do have untouchable. But that will not really help us. Oh, 
Let's get this guy. Solid damage. Pretty sure the other room is also full of enemies. Might be ve uh, very careful what we're going to do here. Let's activate Wrath. It still doesn't allow us to pass through these walls. That's a pity. Bradford is in a very exposed position. Um, can we hit this avatar here? 50% shot. It's not too bad. I'm your Huckleberry. Not hundred percent sure how he managed to get there. But all right. Summoning a pillar for Bradford. There we go. He has his full cover. No one's in range for rent. Well, that might, ch it might change in a little bit. Um, Lily Peng is also in an exposed position, but certainly not as bad as Bradford. Uh, can't summon another pillar, at least not for now. We could move up here, hit this guy, that's an option. Could move up here, but that's at the risk of yet, yet triggering another pack. He's just going to stasis, so I'm not terribly afraid about it. Matter of fact, he's probably going to start the turn by stasising her, and that'll be pretty much it. But I'm afraid about the mind control, so let's get these guys as low as possible. Nice, free hair trigger. In the shadows. Concealing ourselves. Can't really grapple anywhere. So might as well position ourselves here. Um And let's overwatch. Mind control? Yeah. I figured as much. Come on, resist. How do you dare to not resist? Kill! Kill them all! The position is at risk! Uh 
couple of purifiers. Can never escape my sight. He's in full cover, don't even try. <laughs> They're all over me. Don't you dare. No mind control. Oh, that's a lance. Well, that's the first wounded soldier, I suppose. And there's the stasis I was talking about. Yeah, we just got one wounded soldier. Sorry, should be fine. Reaper is just about not up. It requires patience. So this won't completely kill him, but it will bring both of them into a critical state and the avatar needs to reposition which he has done beautifully this world is ours. Back into action. Okay. So next target is going to be this avatar over there because we want to break the mind control. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. cover. Burning is good because he will continue to burn. Being there is also pretty pretty awesome. All right come on. Nice little hit. Well, removed his, his armor completely. This here On the move. should kill the avatar finally. Hair trigger, even better, wonderful. Plus emplaceable. Moving to position. Moving back. Got the hair trigger. I said moving back and we got the hair trigger. Oh my gosh, really? Well, it is what it is. That's one down. And I think we're going to continue harassing. Yeah, we could we could go for a slash. My problem with that is they use to, uh, they tend to explode and it's just no fun. when they explode. The other option is we we'll actually take him down. Uh, 
Because next turn, stasis will be over, and it's just one. Lonely, pathetic priest who's probably going to take a shot or tries a mind control. Most likely taking a shot. Well, I'm fine with the mind control. Curiosity, are we still looking for more enemies? If so, are they in the next room? So there is one more purifier, but there is no one up here. Okay, good. Solomon takes his third focus. Good boy, well done. And let's get into cover with most of the rest of our operators. On your order. Got it covered. Let's do this. Come get some. Moving the auto watch. All right, he's making the run of his life. Well, you had your fair chance, buddy. Now it's game over. Very nice. So we finished with 325,000. John Bradford is going to take the commander. There you go, buddy. That was humorous. I like it. Such a great end. Good. So that was even more than 20% more. That was 30% more points than we would have needed. Great. I like it. Three hundred twenty-three thousand. The Leatherus project. And that's pretty much it, guys. That concludes our uh, legacy operations uh, run. The DLC expansion for XCOM Two. I enjoyed all of the four um, scenarios, 
really really well done over time we've uh, became better like the first one was really a testing scenario we only scored 265,000 but then solid uh, 300 plus thousand every time um, overall my personal impression of the missions were very very positive well done handcrafted I perceived them as to be a bit too easy but I mean that's I think personal taste um, I would have appreciated if there would have been a, a legendary um, playthrough which unfortunately is not the case other than that I think they did a great job in also switching up with the groups starting with a really standard group um, the four core classes another grenadier and a psi operative that's i would say the strongest all-around combination that you could run in vanilla xcom 2 uh, then shook it up with a more um, well-rounded uh, three um, expansion uh, classes and uh, i think this group here by the way was maybe one of the strongest um, it actually probably was the strongest of all of them i really like the setup uh, that they've taken um, just from the pure brute force, it was the strongest setup. Then uh, they had this um, uh, the setup uh, with um, Lily Shen um, and and uh, much of this um, kind of stilts play. I appreciated it. Um, it was fun over a lengthy period. Uh, got the Grenadier relatively uh, late, and then this team also took off. And the last team was probably the most. Uh, advanced version of how to build a team and by advanced I don't necessarily mean that it was the strongest it just took a lot of um, knowledge uh, when you could uh, uh, when you can uh, take a melee fight and when you can't um, very very fun um, setup I liked it uh, whoever has designed the maps has done a terrific job in capturing all of these wonderful details of uh, XCOM 1 and also sometimes um, little throwbacks to XCOM um, UFO um, defense so that was pretty well done the soundtrack is awesome I am looking forward for the new legacy models within the game and uh, since this year concludes the legacy run uh, the only thing that's left for me to say is a thank you so much for watching please write a comment um, and tell me how you like the run and b um, uh, heads up i've received the first couple of fires for failed uh, legendary um, runs which were now going to uh, start the saving your campaign um, uh, series where i'm going to review um, actual playthroughs that haven't gone so well yeah that's pretty much it thanks for your time enjoy the rest of your evening and see you on the next mission guys bye bye